So PX Play, or PS Play as it was known until recently, is a fantastic app to remote play our PS5 console to our Ally X. And it has two advantages over the very popular Check It PS5 Remote Play app. First is that it could very well offer better visual quality, less lag and better performance than Check It. And two is that PX Play easily allows us to play our PS5 anywhere away from home, like on a cellular hotspot. Here are the seven easy steps to get this set up and optimized correctly, including control and mapping, and also setting up that cellular hotspot. And this of course works for the original ROG Ally and indeed all Windows based handhelds like the Legion Go 2. So let's dive straight in and for step one, let's download the PX Play app by opening up our favorite web browser on Windows, which in my case is Brave. And let's head to streamingdv.com, link in the description. On the top right, let's click on PS Play. Click download. The current version at time of recording is 1.2 for Windows, which has recently added gyro support for the ROG Ally and Ally X, which is sweet. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. There is a demo version that you can try out here, but I'm gonna click on the Windows underscore portable zip file right here, and it'll go into our downloads folder. For step two, let's launch and activate the app by heading to where we downloaded it, which in my case is the downloads folder. Let's click on it to unzip it. Select it, press cut, go to where you want to move it to, which in my case is my documents folder. Press paste and it'll move it here, which just takes a few moments. Go into the folder and click on the PX Play application file to launch it. If you haven't purchased it yet, then let's click purchase license. Select a web browser to open it with. And here we can purchase a license for around 13 euros and dollars, which I think is definitely worth it. As I say, if you're not too sure, we can download a demo. So I'd say at least give it a try. And there's a Linux version if you have a Steam Deck too. Let's head back into the app, click start button to make it full screen. I have already purchased it a while ago when it was called PS Play. So I'll click on the key on the top right. We'll just enter our email address and very importantly, include the dashes in the license key right here. So open up command center, press keyboard and begin typing. And when activated, the green lock on the top right will no longer be present. So now PX Play is activated. For step three, let's register our console by clicking this register new PS button. Select your console, which in my case is a PS5. Now let's load up our actual PS5 console and head to settings, then to system, then to remote play, then to link device. Make sure you keep the screen on during this registration process. This is important. And enter this code into the PX Play app where it says registration number. So click on the keyboard icon to do this. Enter the eight digit code as displayed on our PS5 console. Then click register PS5. Let's now click on this via PSN login yellow option. Click on this yellow open PSN login website option. Here let's enter our PSN ID email and password. You may need to enter a code sent to our phone if you have a two-step verification enabled on our accounts like I do. It will open up a blank white screen. So just tap on the very long and random address at the top. Press copy. Minimize our web browser. Tap on the PSN login yellow redirect URL area. Press command center. Open up our keyboard. This long web address we just copied, just tap on it. And immediately we should get this PX Play was successfully registered with our console, yes. So now we've registered our PS5 console to the PX Play app. For step four, let's now configure PX Play by clicking on the cog icon to go into settings and click OK on this first pop-up message. In streaming, let's make sure 1080p resolution is selected. In the FPS section, make sure 60 FPS is chosen. For the bitrate mode, feel free to keep at auto or you may want to experiment. For example, I've seen online that a lot of people are finding 2500 seems to be the optimal setting. So I'm going to select this and try this out. I want the app to automatically connect to my PS5 console. So I'll leave this tick and the other options are your personal choice, like confirm action and sleep options when we've finished remote playing. In the video section, in the video decoder box, make sure that this is set to Vulkan. In the video rendering engine, ensure Vulkan compatibility is selected and make sure the HEVC decoder box is ticked and we're all good. I haven't changed any other settings, so things like PS5 haptic feedback I've left on. 
So I would recommend familiarizing ourselves with these anyway, just in case there are any that you may want to change. For step five, let's now add the PX Play app to our game library in Armory Crate. By opening up Armory Crate, press the options button, then add game or app to library. Click the top left LB button. Go to where we install the app, which for me is the documents folder on the C drive. Then the PX Play folder. Click on the pxplay.exe file. It should be ticked so we can just click done and we can now launch it from within Armory Crate. Now let's press game options, then set game profile, then configuration. And I'm gonna select that it automatically launches in performance mode when on battery power. But let us know if you prefer silent or any other operating mode that you think is best for PS5 Remote Play below in the comments. For step six, let's now map the controls. And we can see in the PX Play app settings on the keyboard that the PS button is set to control and the touchpad is set to B. Let's map these in Army Crates by opening it up, head to settings, then in control mode, click configure, click configure in game mode. I'm gonna select the rear M1, then primary button, go to keyboard, select B, select secondary function, then keyboard, then B again. And now our PS touchpad is now mapped. Let's now click on the rear M2, click the primary button, select keyboard, then select control, then press the secondary function, then keyboard, then again control, and our PS button is now mapped here. Let's quickly test these buttons out by opening the PX Play app. An important note in that we always need to make sure our gamepad is selected in control mode, as controls will not work if using desktop or auto. Select our PS5 console. I'm here at home, so we select local connect, and we'll come on to remote connect in just a moment. We're now remote playing our PS5 console, and this feels so smooth to control with great visual quality, so much more than the PlayStation Portal. I'll select one of my favorite ever games and The Last of Us Part 1 Remastered. And we can see that pressing the rear M2 button does indeed now bring up the PS button, which is crucial for PS5 remote play. And the rear M1 button is the PS touchpad button, which in The Last of Us brings up our inventory menu. And we're now ready to set up playing away from home. later and finally for step seven let's set up playing away from home by opening up windows settings then head to network and internet then wi-fi now grab our phone which in my case is the new iphone 16 pro max and head to personal hotspots in settings this wi-fi password will enter onto our ally x in just a moment so just place our phone in a location with good cellular coverage on our ally x click on show available networks and here are public Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi at a friend's house, or in my case, my iPhone cellular hotspot should appear here. So click on this, then click connect and enter the hotspot password from our phone right here. And if successful, it should say connected and secured. And we are now on a cellular hotspot. Let's head into Army Crate to open PX Play. This first time, select gamepad mode and press Y. Select our console. When we play away from home, we now select remote connect press automatic and we can now play our PS5 console anywhere away from home. Congratulations, your Ally X original Ally or Windows handheld is now fully set up for PS5 remote play, both at home and indeed anywhere. And if this has helped you, then hit like and also comment so the YouTube algorithm can spread this out to many more in our amazing Windows PC handheld gaming community. And if you've ever enjoyed a vid here on the channel, then to get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of these tutorials. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Don't start our day with the broken pieces of yesterday. Each day is a fresh start. Each day is a new beginning. Every morning we wake up is the first day of our new life. It's so easy to dwell on all the mistakes that we've made in life and perhaps for some of us trauma from our childhoods, but every day is a fresh start. So stay encouraged today, guys. If you want to know the 14 things you absolutely need to do first with your new Ally X, then check this video out.
I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.